Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Coach Hart with you again. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And uh, wanted to talk with you today, uh, you kids, and also to your parents as well, uh, as we start the new quarter, the second quarter of school. So I don't know if you guys know this, you kids know this, but school is broken up into four parts. You know, think of a pizza and it has four pieces, one here, one here, one here, one here. Well, we've already eaten one of those pieces. The first quarter is already gone. Now we're on the second quarter. We're starting the second quarter. It's gonna last for about nine weeks and then we'll come the third and then we'll come the fourth and then we'll be done and you'll go to the next grade. So as we start the second quarter, we're making a few changes in our PE schedule, okay? So PE is going to be now on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for the rest of the school year. And, or let me say that, for the rest of the second quarter, okay? I, I, don't, I can't say that it'll be that way for the rest of the school year because it's kind of a quarter by quarter thing, the way, you know, the way it's going, as you guys know. So, uh, and what we will do is we'll continue with our basic curriculum of teaching you kids the basic skills that you need to be successful, happy people in life. Um, just to go over a, a, a broad view of those things, parents, it's exactly what you would imagine. First of all, it has to do with equipping the kids with the skills to be confident, functioning people. And I'm talking about the physical skills. We're talking about basic physical skills, such as motor skills, movement skills, different ways to move, uh, walking, running, galloping, skipping, hopping, jumping, and, and those types of movement skills. And I'm not gonna go into it, uh, a diatribe of why that's so good, but it is. There's a lot of uh, common sense, good stuff, reason behind that. And uh, we're also going to teach them hand-eye coordination skills, as we've been doing. Uh, one of the reasons we're doing some of this, uh, this work with um, balls and bean bags is to develop hand-eye coordination, that fine motor skill development, uh, you know, the ability to individually work the, the different fingers and so forth. That's so important. And not on the, only on the dominant hand, but also on the non-dominant hand. We're gonna do some really cool, fun things in the, in the second quarter. Um, I'll show you one simple, whoops, one simple one here, here. Just try this sometime. In fact, your parents can try this too. This is a lot, it's not as easy as it looks. And we're gonna go through some different exercises like that, that force the brain, both sides of the brain, to work at the same time on different tasks. It's one thing to do this and this, the task is the same, even though you're working both sides of the body, but this, the task is different and different fine, uh, the particular muscles that control one finger, um, those aren't often called for with the pointer finger they are, but then what about the other three? We're gonna develop all of those fine motor skill muscles. Um, we're going to work on uh, throwing and catching, uh, the basics of throwing and catching, just a, a range of things, um, cool stuff, really cool stuff, fun stuff, and we can do a lot of it online too. Um, we're going to work on physical fitness and uh, the the uh, an un un basic understanding of physical fitness from a kid's point of view. But as you know already, we use this music a lot and. There's, t I'm gonna post research on the PE homepage for you uh, as to why the use of this music is so good and so powerful and why I believe in it so much. It's just, it's far beyond just the fact that the kids enjoy it. Uh, the kids do enjoy it. I mean, it gets them up and moving and that's reason enough actually, but there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more to the research and, and it's, and it's uh, cutting edge. It's out there and we're, we're on the cutting edge. You're gonna meet somebody, parents named Dr. Lynn Kenny, uh, who's somebody we've had an interview with and who's somebody that's actively working with me 
and our kids because she's written a book called Musical Thinking uh, and four other books, actually, and uh, she's out there uh, leading the way in the world. She's working in 25 countries, uh, and she's gotten us connected with, with some pretty interesting people. And she recognizes that what we're doing with music and movement is, is awesome stuff. And so uh, I'm going to be doing more explaining to you beyond your just gut sense that, oh, this is interesting, beyond that, giving you some, uh, some meat to those bones. Um, so then also we're going to continue uh, working with our, our developing the kids in their, in the big school themes that we have. Uh, the older kids always have a big school theme. Uh, this year it's called the 20th Kid, and I'm talking about a PE theme now, specific to PE. Uh, the 20th Kid is the idea that, you know, and 19 kids out of 20 might think this way. You're the 20th Kid, and you might think that way also, but you might also think a different way about things and teaching kids to ask questions and to look at things from different points of view and uh, to not always just follow the crowd. That's our theme this year with the kids. Some of our themes in the past uh, have uh, centered on things like that. They've been really cool, actually. And you'll see how our musical exercises are going to ultimately relate to the 20th kid theme uh, as we do every year. So, so just just to get out of those weeds and back onto the to the main line here uh we're going to continue with pe on wednesdays thursdays and fridays we're going to continue working with skills and basic ways of thinking that develop the kids develop their confidence develop their health and by the way uh, another thing a basic understanding of health and physical fitness the five components of fitness um, nutritional elements uh, a, a basic nutritional understanding. All of this stuff is designed to support you parents as you're trying to raise healthy kids, as you're trying to raise good kids. Uh, we're here to help you do that. We're here to be on your team for that here at PE. And, uh, and that's what I'm doing uh, with the way that I plan these lessons for them. So uh, I just wanted to have this little note with you. I wanted to have this little welcome to second quarter with you. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm getting better every day at working with these tools at our disposal, including Nearpod and, and different things like that. Uh, I mention that because you know, I've been teaching 39 years and I've never done anything like this before, but I'm exhilarated with the opportunity to do this stuff, to reach out to the kids in this way uh, using these, these tools these uh, techno technical tools and it's it's awesome and uh, I'm getting better at it and I'm going to continue developing uh, hopefully hopefully the kids find it interesting developing more in different uh, different uh, uh, ways of doing PE online so kids Wednesday Thursday and Friday every Friday is going to be live PE Wednesdays and Thursdays are going to be lessons, recorded lessons, and that's what I got. If you have any questions at all, please send me an email to my last name, Hart, H-A-R-T-E, the letter J, at pcsb.org, and, uh, and I will get to your emails. I get a lot of them, so if I don't answer you right away, if you're patient with me, I will get to you. Um, if for some reason I don't ever answer you, send me another one and say, hey man, come on, what's going on here? I'll, I'll get to you, trust me. Uh, so uh, that's the story, that's what I got. So it's Tuesday, it's election day, USA baby, greatest country in the world, is about to pick a leader uh, for the next four years, it's very exciting. And tomorrow, I will see you in PE class. Adios amigos.